Tonight, the final chapter in a Tudor saga that we have been following for months. Abigail Simon, the former Grand Rapids Catholic Central Tutor, sentenced in court to 8 to 25 years in prison for sexually assaulting a student. And just like the trial that went on for several days, there was more drama in the courtroom today. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colker is live to let us know what happened. Ken? Yeah, Brian, it was a long, tense sensing. Actually lasted a little more than two hours. It even led Abigail Simon to collapse not once, but twice. Now, Simon, the former Catholic Central tutor convicted of having a sexual affair with a 15-year-old student, begged the judge for mercy. So did her attorney, who asked the judge to go far below sentencing guidelines. He said prison wasn't the right place for his client. But the hearing also included testimony from the victim's mom, who said the relationship started as a schoolboy crush that Simon took advantage of. Now, the mom also lashed out at defense attorneys who had painted her son as the rapist. Abby was offered plea bargains to avoid a trial, but instead decided to make up this incredible story. She decided she was to be the victim. She was so confident that Brian was still vulnerable and would go through with her plan. Well, she was wrong. With the love and support of his family, he became stronger every day. Now then it was Abigail Simon's turn to, to ask the judge to give her a chance. Now she's maintained all along that she was the victim, that he was the aggressor, a claim the jury did not believe when it convicted her of three counts of first degree sexual assault. Today she continued to blame the victim. When things took a turn, I was overtaken by fear and I was scared and lost. It felt like I was drowning, and I'm so sorry that I wasn't strong enough to get away from him and save both of us from all of this. It made me feel so pathetic and weak. Now, the victim did not speak at the hearing, but later we spoke with the victim's father, who had told me earlier that his son did not want her to go to prison. Today, he had mixed feelings about the outcome. Reaction? I don't like to see anybody go to jail, that's for sure. Did you not want to see her go to prison? I want her to be punished. You do yeah. want her to be punished? I want her to be punished and helped, I guess, more than anything. Now, Simon, of course, is now headed off to prison, but her attorney said she has hired other attorneys to file an appeal. Live in Grand Rapids, Ken Colker, 24-Hour News 8. And Ken, quickly, 8 to 25 years, what's the likelihood that she would even serve the, the 8 years? Could she get out earlier? Well, she gets credit for 53 days, time served, um, and that's all she'll get. Under truth and sentencing, eight years is eight years. Quite often, the 25 years doesn't mean a lot, but eight years under truth and sentencing means eight years. All right. Ken Colker, reporting live. Thank you, Ken. Okay.